Okay, now that Train Your Sales Team is set up and configured within your Salesforce.com account and users have been established to receive training inside of Salesforce, uh, we need to create some courses and uh, curriculum that students can access within the Train Your Sales Team application. Now, the first step in doing this is actually adding content to your content library inside of Connect. Now, as a refresher, there are several components that make up the Connect service. Um, people can come into Adobe Connect to generate live meetings. Uh, you can come in and create courses and courseware. Uh, you can come in and create event registration. So you've got different tabs that allow you to come in and create the different elements that you want to use to uh, execute the different uh, solutions that you're trying to uh, deliver using Adobe Connect. And the first thing to do in order to set up courses is to add content to our content library. Now the content library in Adobe Connect is very similar in nature to a SharePoint server. When companies use SharePoint, they're typically wanting to share documentation like PowerPoint files and Word documents and PDF files and Excel spreadsheets. And it's a way of assigning permission levels to different groups and people that can go in and, and uh, kind of asynchronously collaborate on the documentation. Well, the content library in Adobe Connect is really designed for your multimedia content. So it's flash files and FLV files and MP4 files, all the different types of multimedia that you might use to uh, deliver a kind of a rich media experience on the web or even uh, create simulations and demonstrations that might be used in your e-learning. So in order to get content into our system, there's a, a couple of ways you can go about it. If you're using one of the Adobe products that directly integrates, like Adobe Captivate, as seen here, Adobe Captivate actually has a mechanism that allows you to publish directly into the Connect server. So when I open up the publish window, I can either publish right to my desktop or I can click on the Adobe Connect Pro um, icon here to the left. You can input your Adobe Connect server details here. You can even change between different accounts that you might have access to. So I do some work with Rocky Mountain Health plan, so I was currently looking at their server. I'm going to go ahead and highlight mine and change it to the EnvisionTel server. Now I can publish up to my server if I'd like. I can even publish my Captivate source content. That way we can use the Connect server as kind of a, a central depository for storing all of our source content in case somebody loses their computer, uh, somebody has a hard drive crash, somebody uh, has their computer stolen, whatever the case may be, this gives you kind of a central location to store that type of content. Now the other way to do this is we can also uh, kind of pull content up onto the server by clicking on new content. We can choose our file and I might uh, navigate my computer hard drive here and get to my Captivate Projects area and it just so happens I've created a, a Captivate project here um, that's already zipped up and ready to go. I'm just going to select it, choose open. I might give this a name uh, called creating an Adobe event part two. I can assign a custom URL or even provide a summary and then hit save. And as the content uploads to the server, it will become available in my content folder. And once it's in the folder, I can then adjust uh, permissions so that other people within my organization could gain access to it. So for example, if I wanted to click on set permissions, click customize, I could also allow public viewing. So if I just wanted to allow anybody who had the URL to gain access, I could do that. But I'm going to come in here and select my partner, Jonathan, and we'll just highlight his name, add him to the content. And right now, by default, he's just set up to view it. I'm going to adjust the permissions to allow him to manage it. And now we can kind of collaborate asynchronously on the same piece of content, and we can both work collaboratively on it. And once we've uh, made all of our changes, if I go back to content information, I do have a URL that's been generated that would allow somebody to gain access to view the content, assuming I added them to the permissions. And in our next tutorial, we're going to show you how to take a piece of content and add it to an actual course in the Adobe Connect 
server. So thank, for, thank you for your time and uh, have a great day.